Welcome to another video. This is the past paper questions three, which come up in regard to the quick sort algorithm in the LXL D decision one uh, maths A level module. Again, this revision will be useful for most decision one maths modules. Um, for any more help on your maths studies, uh, GCSE or A level, please see my uh, YouTube channel, Hegarty Maths, or my website. Right, let's get straight on and have a go at a question. As always, uh, here's January 2008, question two. Have a go at the question, uh, pause the video, I'll go through the answers in 10 seconds. Okay, right, let's go through this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the numbers. So they're 18, 20, 11, 7, 17, 15, 14, 21, 23, 16, and 9. And I'm also going to leave myself a column here, which I'm going to call pivot. Okay, now, the reason I'm doing that is it's asking us to put them in ascending order, quick sort, make your pivots very clear. So we are going ascending, so we're going from small to big, and here's my pivot column to make it very clear. Right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven numbers, so the middle is going to happen at six. One, two, three, four, five, and six here. Okay, so my pivot is 15. Right, I want to write any number smaller than 15 that comes up. So 11 is, 7 is, 14 is, uh, 21's not, 16's not, and 9 is. Then I write down my pivot number, which is 15. Okay, then I write anything that was bigger, namely the 18, the 20, the 17, 21, the 23, and the 16. Now I decide on new pivots. I've got a sublist of four here. The pivot's going to be in the middle, which is going to be the third number. So it's going to be a 14. I've got a sublist of uh, six here. The middle is going to happen on the fourth number, which is 21. Okay, out of these four, I'm going to write down anything that's smaller than 14. So that's 11, 7, and the 9. Then I'm going to write my 14 down, write my 15 that was pivoted. Out of these six, write anything smaller than 21. So that's the 18, the 20, the 17, and the 16. Then write my 21, and then write anything bigger, which was 23. Now I'm going to decide on my pivots. So I've got a sublist of three, pivot on the second, which is the seven. I've got a sublist here of four, pivot on the third, which is 17. And I've got a sole number here, so pivot on that, 23. Okay, now, out of these three here, I'm going to write down anything smaller than 7. There isn't anything, so then write your 7 and write the other two as they come up, 11 and 9. Write your 14 down, write your 15 down, and you're pivoting on the 17. So you've got four numbers here. Out of those four, write down anything smaller than 17, which is just 16. Then write your pivot number 17 and the 18 and the 20, 21 and 23 already pivoted. Okay, a sublist of two, pivot on the second number which is a nine, sublist of one, pivot on the 16, okay, and a sublist of two, so pivot on the 20. Okay, and then I'm going to write down my seven, write down anything smaller than nine, there isn't anything, so then write your nine, then your 11, then your 14 and 15, 16 and 17 that were already pivoted. Write down anything out of these two smaller than the 20, there isn't anything, so write your 18, then your 20, your 21, and your 23 that were already pivoted. And you've got two numbers left over, the 11 and the 18, which are the last pivots. So lastly, you've got 7, 9, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, and 23. And you've got yourself five easy marks on a decision maths paper. Okay, take a look at the next question. This is Ed Excel, D1, January 2009, five marks. Pause the video, in 10 seconds I'll go through. it. 
Okay, let's go through these. Um, what we're asked to do in this question here is we are asked to uh, use the quick sort again to produce these lists in ascending alphabetical order, making your pivots clear. Five marks. Okay. I'm not going to write the full names out. I'm just going to write M, L, J, H, K, T, R, and I. And don't forget, I'm going to include for myself a pivot column. Okay, it's very important to do this because it helps you make the pivoting very clear because otherwise all circles get confusing. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. So the middle is going to happen at the fifth, which is the K. My pivot is the K. Okay, I'm going to write anything in the alphabet before a K. So, so obviously a J is, a H is, and an I is, and then you've got your K, and anything after that, namely M, L, T, and R. Now I'm going to do a pivot. Sublist of three, pivot on the H. Sublist of four, pivot on the T, which is the middles. Okay, out of these three, I'm going to write anything in the alphabet that's lower than a H, and there isn't anything. So you write your H down, then you write the other two things that come up, J and I, then your K, and out of these four, write anything uh, lower in the alphabet than the T. So that's M, L, uh, and R, and T's at the end. Okay, now decide on my pivot. I've got a sublist of two here, pivot on the second I, sublist of three here, pivot on the second, which is an L, and then I'm going to take the H out of these two here. Uh, what's first, I or J? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, the I's first, then the J, then you've got your K, and nothing's lower than L, so you write your L next, then your M, your R, and your T. Okay, there's a J on its own, so pivot on the J, and there's an R here uh, on its own, so uh, pivot on that R. Uh, the second, sorry, the, the R's not on its own. Pivot on the second of the two, so pivot on the R. And then you have H, I, J, K, L. Um, which is first out of these? Well, M is, R, and T. So pivot on your M to finish with, and then they're in order. H, I, J, K, L, M, R, and T. And you're done. Five marks. Okay, next question, let's take a look. Uh, it's the Edexcel D1, June 2009. Pause the video, have a go, mark yours against mine. Okay, um, again, we are using the quick sort and we're putting in alphabetical order. I'm not going to write them out fully. I'm just going to write M, J, E, K, H, B, L, P, N, and D, and I'm going to have myself a pivot column, okay? Just to make it very clear what my pivots are. I always like doing that. Okay, first things first, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items, so the middle is going to come at the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, so a B. So my first pivot, pivot is B. I'm going to write anything before B in the alphabet. There is nothing. So I write B and I write the others as they come. M, J, E, K, H, L, P, N, and D. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items here. The middle is going to come in the fifth. One, two, three, four, five at H. I'm going to write anything before H in the alphabet. So that's going to be an E, and that's going to be a D. Then I'm going to write my H, and I'm going to write the other things down as they come. So that's M, J, K, L, P, and N. Okay, I've got a list of two here, pivot on the D. I've got a list of six here, pivot on the L. Okay, so I've got my B. Out of these two, which one um, comes first? Well, D does, and then you've got your E and your H, and write anything before L in the alphabet. 
So that's going to be a J. Uh, that's going to be a K. Um, and then you're going to have your L. And then you're going to have next, you're going to have your M, P, and N. Now pivot on the solo E here. Out of these two, pivot on the K. And out of these three, pivot on the P. Okay, so you're going to have your B, D, E, and H. Uh, out of J and K, uh, J comes first, so you've got your J, K, and L. And out of these, does anything come before P? Or M and N come before P? Okay, so you're going to pivot solely on the J and the N. So you're going to have a B, D, E, H, J, K, L. And what comes first, M or N, what M does. And then lastly, you're going to pivot on the M that's left over. And you have them in order then, B, D, E, H, J, K, L, M, N, and P. And you're done. A nice, uh, easy five marks for June 2009. Okay, so moving on to the next question. This is Edexcel D1, January 2009, 2010 even. Um, pause the video, have a go, mark yours against mine. I'll go through in 10 seconds. Okay then, um, let's go through these. Uh, again, what we're doing here is we are carrying out a quick sort to produce a list of lengths in descending order. You should identify your pivots clearly. Okay, so if we're going in descending, that means we're going from big to small. Let's write the numbers out. 0 0.6, 4.0, 2.5, 3.2, 3.5, 2.5, 2 .5, 0 0.4, 0.3, 4.0, 0.0, 0 and 1.0, and we're going to have ourselves a pivot column as well, okay, that we're going to keep separate uh, to identify our pivots so we get full marks in that part of the exam, okay, right, here we go. First thing, how many numbers we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, okay, the middle must happen at the 6. So we're going to pivot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2.6. Okay, I'm going to write anything that's bigger than 2.6. Right, 4.0 is, uh, 3.2 is, 4.0 is, and that's it. Then you write your 2.6, which was your pivot. Then all the things that were less, 0 0.6, 2.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0.3, and 1.0. First thing you pivoted on, just to make clear, was 2.6. Now you've got a sub list of three. Pivot on the 3.2, the middle number. Pivot out of these, you've got six numbers, so pivot on the fourth, which is 0 0.4. Okay? Write down anything bigger than 3.2. Uh, so that's going to be the 4.0, the 4.0, then you write your 3.2 down. Okay? Write your 2.6 that was pivoted on. Out of these three, uh, sorry, out of these numbers here, you're pivoting with the 0.4. Um, write down anything that's bigger than 0.4. So that's 0.6, that's 2.5, that's 0.5, that's 1.0. Then you write your 0.4, then your 0.3, the number that's less. Okay? Then what you're going to do, you've got two numbers here, pivot on the 4.0. And out of these four numbers, pivot on this one, the middle, which is 0 0.5, and pivot on the 0 0.3, which is on its own. Okay, and then write down anything uh, bigger than 4.0. Well, this one's the same, so just write it down. Okay, you're pivoting 0 0.5. Write down anything bigger than that. That's the 0 0.6, the 2.5, and the 1.0. Then write your 0 0.5 down. 
and your 0.4 and your 0.3 that were already pivoted. Okay, now you're going to pivot on the 4.0, the solo one, and pivot on the middle of these three, which is 2.5. So you've got 4.0, 4.0, 3.2, 2.0, 2.5. Out of these three, anything uh, bigger than 2.5, well, there isn't one, so write 2.5 next, then your 0.6, your 1.0, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and 0.3. And lastly, pivot on the middle of these two, which is that one, which is 1.0. So you have 4.0, 4.0, 3.2, 2.6, 2.5, 0.3, Anything bigger than that? No. So write 1.0, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. These three have all been pivoted. And finish off by pivoting on the one that's left over, the 0 0.6. So now you've got them in uh, descending order 4.0, 4.0, 3.2, 2.6, 2.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, and you've clearly got all your marks by showing your pivots clearly, and you're done. And there we've done another question. So, finally, we've got one more exam question to do. As always, pause the video, and in 10 seconds I'll go through, you mark your work. And let's go through this then. Um, what we're doing is we're applying the quick sort to produce a list of names in ascending order, make your pivots clear. Same old stuff. I'm going to write uh, the list down H, V, L, A, N, J, S, T, and P, and I'm going to have a pivot column as well, just to absolutely make it clear to the examiner of what my pivots are so there's no questions asked um, at all. Right. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The pivot's going to happen on the middle one, which is the fifth. One, two, three, four, five, here. Write down anything lower than N on the alphabet. So that's going to be H, L, A, J, and that's it. And then you write your N, and then you write your V, which is above it. Then you're going to write your S, T, and P. Okay, and you pivoted on N. Don't forget to write in to the exam what we did. You've got a list of four. Pivot on the middle, which is A. Got a list of four. Pivot on the middle, which is a T. Okay, write down anything which is lower in the alphabet than A. There's nothing. So A comes first. Then you write your others as they come. Then your N. Anything lower than a T, well, that's an S, a P, then your T, and then your V is after it. Okay, now what you're going to pivot on, well, there's three here, so pivot on the L, there's two here, so pivot on the P, and there's the V here, pivot on that on its own. Right, what's lower than an L? Well, a J certainly is, and a H is, so write your H and your J, then your L's there, your N's there, and uh, your S and your P, which is lower? Well, P is, and then S, and T and B. Okay, and they were pivoted. Now out of these two, pivot on your J. Out of this sole one, pivot on your S and you're done. So you've got your A, which is lower out of H and J. Well, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. H is first, then J, then L, then N, then P, then S, then T, then V. And last thing you did, you had to make sure you pivoted on your H and now they're in order. A, H, J, L, N, P, S, T, and V. And therefore, that is the uh, final answer to the June 2010 uh, past paper. And they are all the past paper questions that have come up between Jan 2007 and January 2012. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for D1. Um, tune in for the next set of videos. Thank you for watching.